Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, hopefully the lighting is now adjusted. Yeah, there we go, you can see me. Um, so, starting off with a new series, I'm going to try and do a quick flip series. So basically, buy a car, it doesn't need too much work doing to it, or appears to not need too much work doing to it. Um, order the parts, get it done, and kind of do it in one episode, maximum of two per vehicle. Um, and these aren't going to be like your high-end, you know, GTI, uh, you know, Golf R's, anything like that. It's just going to be affordable cars that can be fixed easily to show people how easy it is to do yourself. Um, and, and really just, you know, keep the money going into the channel and keep the content up on, on YouTube. So uh, enough waffle. Let me show you the first of the quick flips. So we've got a Peugeot 107. I'm starting the video inside the car because it is chucking it down. So uh, mileage wise, this is a 2011 and it has done 65,642 miles. Uh, fairly basic, the 107s, but they are really, really low insurance groups. So they're ideal for kind of first time drivers. Uh, we've got a bit of scratching here on the door card. With the 2011 car, I'm not going to replace a door card, replace that, fix that scratching. We'll try heating it up a little bit. I have seen that if you put a bit of heat on it, sometimes this, this will reduce and we'll also put a bit of dressing on there. It needs a really thorough clean. It is literally filthy in here. I'm guessing that the previous owner was a woman due to the lovely, stylish kind of padded rest there for the seat belt very nice i'm definitely keeping that um, in the back you can see we have a rear window stroke tailgate delete which is actually leaking on that corner so i need to just go and have a look at that um, and that's the reason why this was written off somebody went into the back of it and took the tailgate out now i've looked around this very quickly when it was delivered the bumper it looks okay, there's a little bit of a mark and a little bit of a, um, a crack on the side of it, but it's nothing that you wouldn't you know, expect from a little car park ding. So it is literally the tailgate on this that needs replacing. George and I went to um, the scrapyard on Saturday and we picked up a new tailgate, 50 quid. And that came with the wiring loom, the rear windscreen wiper, the boot release, everything. And all we need to do is literally, when I'll show you outside the car, there is two bolts, one at the top on either side, and that's where the hinges go. And if you look there in that corner, that kind of little molded out bit, that's where the cable locks down into and where you plug a single connection in. So washer jets on these, I think are actually mounted into the actual, uh, boot into the roof um, at the top so there's no need to fit a washer jet there's no washer jet line going to it um, interior wise like I said apart from it being a bit dirty it's very tidy there's no kind of tears or scratch or um, burns or anything in any of the seats uh, gearbox sounds good when I start it up it does have a bit of a blow on the exhaust so I'm not gonna go lying on the floor in this weather. We'll get to that later in this video. But I think the first thing we need to do and we need to tackle it is to get that um, rear boot tailgate window fitted. There's also no rubber seal. Uh, so I went on to, um, I think it was X8R, I think was the company. I'll put a link in the description. They were fantastic. So I've bought an upgraded seal kit. These cars are renowned for leaking. Um, so you've got the standard seal that kind of goes round um, the aperture for the boot. And then this one comes with an extra seal that goes over the top to give it sort of an extra protection from, from leaking. And that is Citroen C1, Peugeot 107. Um, and I think the iGo also shares the same chassis and they all are renowned for having some form of a leak in the boot. So if you are looking to buy one of these, first thing you need to do is go in the boot, lift the carpet and check for any water, any rust in there, just to see if it has been leaking. Anyway, enough talk on the inside. Let's go have a look on the outside. Yeah, so starting off at the front, can't see any damage around here anywhere. There's a little chip, which we'll just do a touch up pen job on. Um, we have one wheel trim and let's have a look at the tires. So the first one is, I have no idea what that brand is, but it's got quite a good tread on it. I say probably about four, maybe five mil. 
going to the rear. Oh, I'm splashed out on a Continental on this side. And again, yeah, really good tread on that one. Coming around the back here, we can see the damage. So there is no damage to the bumper. There's a couple of little scuff marks. Um, there's a reflector missing from in there. And they say there's this scuff here. So other than that, it's just that. So that's where that boot seal goes around that edge there. You've got one bolt here and one bolt here. And they're the two that basically fit. And then I'm fairly certain the washer jet was up here somewhere. I'm sure it was actually housed in the bottom of this light. So we don't need to worry about washer jet. Come around to the other tire. Uh, oh, got another wheel trim. So we've got two wheel trims. This one is a Yokohama. And again, good levels of tread. And then we have a Rain X, oh, Uni Royal Rain Expert. So I'm going to do something. Oh, and there's a, a little bit of a botch there, I think, where it's just deformed on the edge of that. And a tiny, tiny little patch of surface rust there. But again, nothing to worry about. I mean, in 2011 first car, it's not going to be perfect. I also noticed that this bit of trim here, it's actually come loose from the actual holder. So that just needs kind of clipping back in. So we'll have a look at that. But other than that, it's pretty nice. Go in the boot, in the back rather. We got some BMW rubber mats. Wonder if they stole those off mum and dad. Um, don't know how you release. Yeah, I can't seem to flip these seats down. I need to stop that water leaking in there. And when I looked, you'll be able to see better than me. There was. Yeah, stop that to the tape. There was also um, part of the boot glass still in here so I don't want to just put my hand down there to try and flip the seats forwards and end up cutting it on some glass but these must release somehow and the button so yeah I'm guessing I'll have to do that from inside the boot and again looking down through the gap you can see, I think the rubber seal's in there, but I was going to change it anyway. I uh, wonder if I can just lift the plastic a little bit and have a look. For a minute there, I thought I'd taken the lacquer off. I haven't. This looks like they had red tape on it as well as the uh, crash wrap. Boot carpet, so no damage to the rear bit there. Yeah, so that is the remainder of the boot mechanism. With a ton of glass in there. Looks like we've got some blankets. Can't actually. So you've got the spare wheel cover here. I don't really want to. Yeah, I think we'll wait until I've got the boot unwrapped completely and we'll have a proper look at it. But the wiring loom, that's exactly the same as the one I've just bought. I'm fairly certain it is. And I say it just tucks down into here. So in there somewhere. Right, there you go, they've already taken it off. You've just got a connector in there. To plug into so it should be nice and easy 
other things that I've bought new set of wheel trims so they're all silver wheel trims that'll tidy up the look of it from the outside uh, and pretty much transform it straight away other than that I'm quite happy I think we've got ourselves a good little car no service history found at the moment but when we go through the stuff in the boot we might find something in there so we'll cut back in a bit when I've got the uh, cover off the boot Tell you what, I'm getting really fed up with this camera dying. I have to keep checking on it. Um, I've got some mods for the camera actually, um, which I'll probably do a quick unboxing video as a separate video on the channel, which is hopefully going to fix the issues where it keeps switching off. So, rear crash bar has been removed. Oh, as you can see, that took that off. So I do apologise, but it is literally you undo this bolt here, this bolt here. There's another bolt uh, up there and then the rest of it is just clipped in around the side and then there's two um, screws that are supposed to be at the bottom. In this case they were missing. Um, and then you just take out the three bolts on that side and that side. If you look in the boot you will see the tiniest of ripple there and that's all it's done. The tiniest of tiny ripples. So other than that I think it's all good to go there's no you know that's not structural that's really thin um that's just the outer skin so i'm going to clear up the rest of the rubbish in here um the new boot seal um is too thick so i've put the original one back on um just checked everything works well and all lines properly and i'll just show you there we go we thought that the boot might be out that way slightly and it wasn't that hinge I had too tight, it wouldn't let it close, but it's still tight on there, and it's tight on there, but there's a bit of gappy there, so I don't know, maybe that could be twisted, but it, you know, at the end of the day, it opens, it shuts, and it's sealed. So the next thing to do, I'm gonna order a replacement bar, because I just needed to confirm, there was two different types, I think, when I looked online, but check this out. I don't know if you'll see this, but, that says, uh, where was it? Yeah, Toyota. And I think when I was looking at other parts of it, there was a Citroen symbol and a Peugeot symbol, but I can't remember where that is, I don't think it was on this. But yeah, so I'll get one of these ordered. And then I'll take the bumper off again. I can show you that there's no damage behind there when I put the new one on. Um, and yeah, go from there. Right, so some good news. I got the spare tyre out of the boot and that's a Continental. So I'm going to take the unmatched uh, front tyre wheel off, pop this one on and then we'll have a pair of Continentals on the front and that can be the spare because you should really run whatever um, wheels are driving the car and obviously fronts most braking as well ideally should be matched. So I'll get this fitted and then we've got a lovely set of budget wheel trims to go on which will really transform it and make it look tidy
stand back a bit. Already it's transforming <coughs> there. Already it's transforming into a better looking car. Right, I'll get the rest of these stickers on. And we'll get back in a sec. Right, so I think that's enough work for today. Um, I'm going to wait for that impact bar to turn up and uh, when that arrives, we'll take the bumper off again, fit that up, uh, and then we'll give it a really good clean on the outside and on the inside, get all the residue and everything off. Um, I'm not going to replace the rear bumper. Um, I was contemplating doing it, but it's had a repair before. It's, it's got loads of overspray on it. And it is literally only that like little bit of cracking on the side there. And the way I see it is, it's, it's going to be somebody's first car, isn't it? They're going to have a prang. They're going to bump into stuff. Um, and that'll probably reappear. I just need to put a bit of double-sided tape on that bit just to pull that bit back in. Um, and then there, yeah, literally, uh, I think we'll check out um, the service history on it. I'll see if I can ring around a few places and... Try that again because the camera died. So yeah, I was the saying, um, uh, servicing wise, I'm gonna ring around. Usually if you kind of look at the place where it was, like had the number plates done last, um, you can ring them and see if they've got any history on it whatsoever. So I'm going to ring around, see if I can get any history on this because it came with no book pack, no nothing. Um, and if we can't track down any history, um, or even if we do track down the history, I'll probably just do an oil and filter change on it just because it will be low cost. Um, other than that, I think this has turned out quite nicely. I was slightly panicked when I couldn't get the boot uh, glass to shut, but I say just swapping it back to that original seal seems to have done the trick and it keeps the more original parts with the vehicle as well. So we know it sits flush up to the to the glass. Um, I say I've hoovered out everything in there, put that new spare wheel in there, put all this back together. So it is literally sort out the impact bar possibly look at the exhaust because it's a little bit rusty and I think it's blowing slightly and then just do an oil and filter change on it and a much needed clean so I think that brings us to a good ending point for the current episode I uh, hope you all enjoyed what you've seen nice little start to a to a a fairly basic nice simple project here um, obviously we're going to do a service on it uh, going to do the exhaust um, I've ordered um, a new back box so that should be here in the next few days so the next episode we'll cover off doing all the maybe the service bits getting the exhaust and then getting it ready to go back on the road because it doesn't need MOT it's still got MOT for 260 days and with a cat in you don't actually have to MOT it so hope you've enjoyed if you have hit that like button if you're not subscribed please take a second to subscribe that really supports the channel helps put money back into the channel well eventually we'll put money into the channel sorry um so we can keep growing it doing more interesting content so i'll catch you in the next one thanks very much Bye bye